Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm gonna be using a couple of keystrokes to quickly get the bearing or angle between two points. And in this video, I'm gonna be using my direction, direction, intersection option, but you can really use any field you want inside of Field Genius that you can enter in a bearing or angle. So what I'm going to do to begin is I'm gonna to head to the bottom left corner, click on Calculations, and then my Traverse and Intersection option, and you can see that I already have my method selected as direction, direction. So what I'm going to do to begin here is I'm gonna select a starting point that I wanna have my bearing projected out from. In this case, I'm gonna use 0.5, and then I'm gonna give it a direction of 5.29. And what that's gonna tell Field Genius is to draw a line with the bearings between points 5 and point 0.29. And you can see once I hit enter, I've got a nice straight line running between points 5 and point 0.29. Nine. So again, if I want to do this and calculate an intersection off of it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set a second point here. In this case, I'm going to use point 25. And then I'm again going to set my direction using this method. So I'm going to go 25 dot dot 16. And you, and you can see that I've got this red arrow projecting to this green dot, which is my intersection point. But I can also use any matter of other points here. So let's say I want to use a different direction. I'm going to use point 28 dot dot 30. That's going to be a different bearing and it's going to slightly move my point here as you can see and again i can do it even a completely different direction so if i go 10 dot dot 9 you can see here that i still have a storage point and that's because the line that is projected out is projected to infinity it's just going to show me which direction it is pointing based on how i draw so if i go whatever my starting point is is the starting point and then the end point so the if i go x dot dot Y, the X is where the bearing is going to start from, and the Y is where it's going to point to. But for now, that is everything in today's video. That is how you use a couple of keyboard strokes to quickly get your bearing or angle out of microsurveys field genius. And if you have a moment, I would please ask you to hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help us out and helps me keep making these videos. And if you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or any questions about anything you've seen on this YouTube channel, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.